So I'm so, so incredibly excited to talk to you today. And I have to ask, what's it like being able to portray such progressive characters and storylines in a period drama? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? It's 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 really wonderful. And I think um, all genres should step up and, you know, uh, tackle these sometimes difficult topics. You know, I happen to be in a period drama and that's where we're doing it. Um, and I think, you know, we have amazing opportunity to be able to do that uh, within this uh yeah, within this within this genre. And I have to ask, how does it feel getting to be like this most incredible example and role model for aspiring LGBTQ plus talent that proving that you can play and slay obviously any role? I think, you know, if my existence in this show as uh, an out and proud human being, inspires people that's that's amazing but also you know to see india wearing you know in this show in the bedroom wearing a wrap around her head while she's you know going to sleep that's inspiring as well i think you know everybody the whole ensemble the writing the creation of this show is really uh expanding this space where we can talk about these things and where people can be inspired and have the confidence to live their lives authentically amazing shonda is obviously legendary iconic writer and showrunner um, and you've been in the bridgerton world before is there anything that you took away or learned specifically from bringing shonda's words to life oh gosh i mean i think she's given me the confidence as an actor to realize that anything is possible that you can you know really play when you're given such exquisite storylines and scripts, that moment between action and cut is so wonderful and so beautiful and so vibrant. And I'm really lucky that I'm really left to my kind of not my own devices, but I'm left to play and make choices for this character that maybe um, are a little bit more interesting, but the writing allows me to do that. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah, I'm growing definitely as an actress because of this uh, experience. That's incredible. What was your first reaction when you found out the iconic Queen Charlotte was getting her own spinoff? Uh, one of immense gratitude. And it was definitely a pinch me moment. Bridgerton is such a guilty pleasure for so many people. So I have to ask, what is your guilty pleasure TV show or movie? Um, I think I'll stay with Netflix. I think Bling Bling Empire is my guilty pleasure. That's amazing. That's such a good one. I love that. It's a good one, right? I love them. I love them all. They're so fabulous. And they then are last fabulous. Week, what um, impact do you hope that Bridgerton will have on the entertainment industry in terms of promoting diversity and inclusivity, both on and off screen? I think it's already having an impact. Um, we're seeing a shift. There definitely could be, you know, uh, more of a shift, but I think that's down the line. Um, let's give this space uh, the prominence that that it deserves. Um, but yeah, I think we're moving in the right direction. Definitely. Just got to move faster. <laughs> well, I think all good things come at its own pace. I, You were absolutely incredible in this. I was so excited to talk to you. Queen Charlotte is a queen. And I think we could thank all you. learn so much from her. So I just want to say thank you. And I cannot wait to see what Queen Charlotte is up to next. Bless you. Thank you so much.